I think I went in with expectations of how God was going to move. I went in thinking that we were going to, you know, share the gospel to people who had never heard about Jesus before, who didn't even know who he was. And so I went in with these big expectations and God kind of showed me on day one, like, yes, he's going to move in big ways, but it's also in the little interactions. Having previously gone, coming back and to be reunited with the family that we built a house for last year um, and getting to hear how God has been working in their lives throughout the last year um, through marriage and protection and provision was a really big joy to experience. Uh, we were able to sit down and speak with some of the, the local people and just talk about the gospel. And uh, we had some of them tell us their story and they eventually gave their lives to Christ also. That was a very moving experience. God always teaches me a lot on these trips. Um, I always come away with something new that I never thought I needed to know. You don't know where you are on that timeline of, of telling someone about Jesus, of those seeds that you plant. You could be in the beginning, you could be the first time they hear it, you could be in the middle, you could be that end and you could be praying that prayer. Um, my testimony is not transformative, but it can relate to a lot of people. And that's something that I learned. I don't have the words and I don't have the knowledge and I don't have like the energy uh, within myself. And it's all by grace through faith. So whether you like you find yourself again, like in the middle of the Amazon River or at work or at home or at school, um, you rely on the Holy Spirit and he, he provides everything that you could ever need. And he is the one who does the real work. We don't do the saving. God does the saving. We don't do the, the growing spiritually. The, the Holy Spirit does that. So when I first decided to go through and go on a mission trip, I um, thought that I would get nervous, but I didn't get nervous. The closer the time came, the more peaceful I felt. And I really felt that that was, you know, God's presence and telling me that, you know, this is what he wanted me to do. And I hadn't evangelized, so I was a little bit apprehensive. But once you get out, it is like God gives you the words. And it's the most rewarding thing ever to be just sharing the gospel. And you gain so much confidence through doing it. If you want to get involved in missions and you're scared, I would say that I was, and I'm pretty sure my whole team was. It's nerve wracking. It's scary, especially when you're going to Brazil. Three plane flights away and you're on the Amazon River on a boat. That's scary, but it's always gonna be scary. And the truth is we are unprepared. Everybody's not ready, but we're not the ones that, that do the saving. It's God through us. That's my encouragement to you.